Welcome back to the show, everybody. Now, last year, this man right here, Jason Vandenberg, came on this show to show us For Honor. Last year, you were showing us a multiplayer. This year, you brought some single player. It's all campaign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have the rest of it. Knights, Vikings, Samurai, all duking it out. Absolutely. Yeah. And in, in the world of For Honor, right? Yeah. So we're here to, to, to explain the, 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 the reasons why. The reason right? why. Why the, why the war, right? As, as I understand it, it's over a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely they over all a puddle. They all want control this puddle. It's possible that the puddle is a symbol. Oh, I just, you know, well, I don't want to burst Okay, maybe I'm taking it too literally. It might be too literal, okay. right? It's, uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 it's, it's of course, war is always over. War is yeah. always over. We, I want this, not you want yet. this, and we're going to fight about that, right? Um, and the, then that not is just going to get horribly out of hand, right? We're in a world coming. that is broken down and is coming back from the brink, right? Yeah. And now we're a people that have re re-inhabited these ancient fortresses and have relearned the ways of our ancestors. Right? And they're kind of bumping up against each other, we'll and making, making the old wars happen again. Sure. But wouldn't it be great if we could just all get along? That it would, would be. be. Awesome. Well, then it wouldn't Price! be much of a game. Yes, that's true. And so we have Apollyon, the, uh, yeah. our villain, right? who is the, the warlord leader of the Blackstone Legion, and she's got better ideas. She's yeah. like, how about more war? Puppet Master? Uh, we'll see. More of a, you know, a well, <laughs> the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a, a hack job. The front, more, okay. Just a little more aggressive than that. Right? Okay. <laughs> more of a, more of a, more of a, let's, let's fight each other. Yeah. Well, so here we're playing as uh, Vikings? We are there? playing as the Vikings. Okay. And this is our, this is our, one of the missions for the campaign. Here we have, the Vikings have sort of rebuilt their people and they're coming in to raid the samurai because when the Vikings get healthy, it doesn't do yeah. And they're looking for people. They come to this Viking fortress that they thought was, you know, kind of old and broken down and busted, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And it turns out that it's slightly better defended than they expected. This I is will tell you all! Um, your player, your character. The like, gates of that uh, fortress had uh, worked for a century. The the gender, it's all the, we had the, to do was get through them. It's the legendary raider that people back yeah. into warfare, right? Um, and, you know, here we're, here we're fighting on the battlefield. Our game is all about melee combat, new way of fighting with melee. So here you see the lock on, right? Yeah. We're beginning to see our old game. So if you remember from last year, but For Honor has this, has this combat system where it puts the, you're blocking and you're attacking on the right, right. stick. Yeah. You do this direct control. So here comes the big guy. This is, uh, Pull the bam. Uh, and you're going to see these two uh, sort of duel it out. The indicators are showing you where the right stick is. Yeah. yeah. Everything that you're seeing here too, like this is our single player campaign, but this is also what our multiplayer is like. Okay. Same mechanics, same sure. foundation. Right? Okay. Really big. Um, uh, so there you go. Come off. Finishing move. Yeah. Yeah. Unkind. That yeah. was unkind. Unnecessary. And but satisfying. Yes. Actually, it's especially when we This is We had this character from last year. We were yeah. play this character on the player, but this is our AI version. Um, here, so the gates are closed, right? We're, 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 our, our fucking landing has not gone as expected. Yeah. Now we've got to get another, we've got to get that gate open. Uh, yeah. We've got to get out of here, because our guys are down on the beach, and we got problems. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to head up the wall. That wall here. was the only here, we'll see, way uh, forward. One of our, our interesting characters. Get out of here! We're going to finish up that guy, and then we're going to head up the wall. So you, you've got these massive battlefields with all these units. Yes. I assume you've got like a large swaths that you can just sort of cut down very easily. And then are there sort of more powerful characters that the game will hone in on for like more of a one-on-one -on -one duel? Is that's that what's happening here? The heart of the game lives in that one-on-one, two v one fighting. That that feeling of personal battle. Between okay. You and Go. Between me. Lead the, so the campaign. That's really about creating these compelling AI moments where yeah. where the, the enemies are coming up. Like say, bam, that golf swing knocks you back. Right. right? Creating enemies that are interesting to fight, to show off the, 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 the game, kind of train you in that art of battle, right? Train you in the, in the way that the, the, the way that our sword fighting goes, right? And then, One and then once you made it to the side, right? Then you're back to okay, One yeah. Be but I'm still a badass. Yeah, well, well let's cut down well, some people. Yeah. Let's just get through these guys. Right? So here we've gotten to the top, right? The, the one guy, the one guy made it to the yeah. top of the road. Right? So now we're up on the top of the wall, we're looking for a, looking for a way through. Right? And there's some, you know, conveniently placed spikes right there, and maybe, oh, nice. oh that worked out. Yep. Yep. Okay. Also a multiplayer mechanic, by the way. Okay, yeah. Um, so, and we're just going to continue to fight over here. Now, does each faction have their own campaign, or through so, the campaign you play them all? It's during the campaign you play them. Okay. Start as the Knights, um, we've got on the floor here, and uh, we've got the first mission of the Knights campaign. Uh, come play this. Um, and then and then you'll switch uh, switch characters. You play as a warden, and then you'll switch. You play as a raider, and you play the Vikings campaign. This takes place here. This is also down playable. 
over there and there'll be a and then you'll switch and play with samurai and then it's a I'm very anxious to see if they can set aside their differences at the end of it all. <laughs> it seems unlikely. Yeah, well. Again, it needs to be. You need to keep the. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, there wouldn't be a 4 on or 2 if it wasn't yeah. more uh, confident. <laughs> Let's hope we get that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, the at the, at the, at the, at the overall, overall of this. Look in your eye, can I eat? What are we fighting for? It looks like we've opened the gates. Yeah, we've opened commando. the gates. Got yes, our sir, guys, this is our yeah. commander, and he's like, people. okay, buddy. And ours. Oh, you. Yeah. He's pissed. Yeah. Right? He's walking I would away. be, too. This guy, these Vikings came into my house. Yeah. And it's, we have this storyteller, so I don't know, you can't hear it here. It's kind of like a weird going, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But there's a, we have a narrator. We have a storyteller that is talking about this tale. Of story, and, he's kind of uh, and he's explaining, he's explaining that, 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 that commander is like a story, you know, I think uh, that looks like a boss fight. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be it's coming my way. So here you've got your Vikings into the into the group. We are winning. Find your way through the fortress. We just but need it to push. push. Get Vikings inside your fortress. It's pretty much all over. Yeah, you just you gotta keep them out. It's, yeah, that's the thing. You gotta hold them at the gate. Yeah. And they, the samurai failed to do that in this gate. You know? They're awesome warriors, but you know they weren't expecting the raider. Yeah. They weren't expecting, they weren't expecting me. Yes. The raider. Yeah. So here we've finished them off. We're kind of looking around. Oh, here we go. Kisama <laughs> Datonaga. That was my brother. Savage. <laughs> he calls you a savage. Kisama Vasubite wa hakai shite. And then he's gonna flip the switch. My fortress is lost. He's like, my soldiers you. slaughtered. Soon, I will dialogue. join them. He's saying that he's gonna die anyway. Like yeah. the fortress is lost. Right? Yeah. So you he doesn't have anything else. Left He's lose. Like, before you I die, yeah. you and I are gonna go. Yeah, right. I'm gonna take you out. Right, right. And then I'll at least I'll die knowing that I did that. But of course I kind of picked the wrong raider. Oh wow. So here we are in our kind of boss fight. Again, most of these moves that uh, we're seeing here, these are these are stuff from our multiplayer campaign. That's the stun, right? Uh, you can bang. Right? Yeah. You can that. It, when you when you do that, bang, it blows away the HUD. Yeah. So we're fighting. <laughs> It's like, these like triangle arrows you're pointing so at. So the arrows here, that's the, those are the three stances we have. In, we have uh, three stances in the game, uh, right, left, right. And where you are holding your right stick, that's where you're guarding you close your shield. So if you're, you're attacked on that, you can that uh, second shield block automatically. Right? Okay. But if, and when you push the attack button, you'll attack there as well. Okay. So it's both your, your defense yeah. and your attack. So you have to, you have to move the stick to move, open yourself up to be able to attack where they're open. So it's yeah. kind of a rocket for figures. Sure. Yeah. That, is, that is the art of battle system that makes this makes for honor unique. And that I think I think creates a emotion of combat. You end up watch, yeah, you end up watching what your enemy is doing, right? Yeah, so like, that's good. Like what is he doing? You have to have to see what his stance is. That's what fighting feels like. Like fighting feels like. Oh, I know. I've been in many battles myself. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I, I know, know, yeah. I've heard of that. Don't gotta tell I, me. They're legendary. <laughs> yeah. They've written songs about yeah. your battles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you watch, you end up studying your opponent, which is, which is you, you have to balance between observing and attacking, right? That's the kind of feeling of And then we got him. Nice. nice. Finishing move. Yeah. <laughs> he fought honorably. He did. He did. But in the end, he picked the wrong raider. Yeah. That raider showed us what Viking fury could do. So we've seized control of the samurai the the fortress. The sea fort has been taken. It. And now the, the, and the Vikings have begun, begun their great raid. They're going to continue into the interior looking yeah. for the city. They need to go and loot and plunder. Yeah. Wow. You guys also announced uh, release dates. Yes. Coming we out. are coming out on... Um, February 14th, 2017, that we're on the like, PS4. Is that a special day of any you know, of some kind? No, it's for Xbox One and PC. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's, the perfect way. It is. It's the perfect, perfect Valentine's Day gift. Yeah. We've got co-op. We've got the whole yeah, campaign right? can so. be played, two-player co-op. we got split screen on a console. Honey, we're going to open up a nice Pinot. I, and we're going to slice up come on. some Vikings what and could Samurai. What be a better Valentine's That's Day? That's how I would want to spend my I mean, you know, yeah. I, I would do it. Jason, always a pleasure. Hey, thank Thanks you for coming by the show. For honor, stay tuned. We still have more games to show you from day one here at uh, E3, right here after this.